All right, this is the last example on slide eight. All right, so first of all, we wanna graph this uh, function f of x equals x plus three for x less than zero, uh, negative two x plus five for x between zero and three, and then two x minus four for x greater than three. All right, so first of all, x plus three, right? So we're thinking, what is x plus three? That is a line with a slope of one and a y-intercept of three, but we're only using that when x is greater than zero. So, or sorry, less than zero. So we want to figure out, okay, where is x plus three when x is zero? Well, if x is zero, then that means zero plus three is three. And so we're going to put an open circle at three, but we're only going to use it for values of x that are less than three. So when is x less than three? Well, that would be over here for negative uh, x value. So we're going to continue this line with a slope of one uh, in that direction. All right, next, negative two x plus five. All right, negative two x plus five. Think about what that is. That is a line with a slope of negative two and a y-intercept of five, so something like that. All right, and we're, we're using that between zero and three. All right, so first of all, I wanna figure out where is this line when x is zero? So if negative two times zero is zero plus five, so that means we're at five, but we're gonna put a closed circle at five because it says x is greater than or equal to zero. All right, then we're gonna go to where x is less than or equal to three. So uh, what, uh, where is this line when x is 3? So negative 2 times 3 is negative 6 plus 5 is negative 1. And so we're going to go to 3, negative 1. We're going to put a closed circle there. And then we're going to draw this line going in between those two. All right. And so remember, that is a line with a slope of negative 2, y-intercept of 5, but only when x is between 0 and 3, including 0 and 3. That's why they're closed circles. All right, next, uh, 2x minus 4 when x is greater than 3. So now we want to figure out what is this thing when x is 3. So 2 times 3 is 6, minus 4 is 2. And so I'm going to put an open circle at 3, comma 2, and then I'm going to continue this line with a slope of 2. All right, and so now that is our piecewise graph. Remember, that is not calculus. That's just, uh, you know, pre-calculus knowledge. But uh, now we want to be able to evaluate our limits. All right, so first of all, what is the limit as x approaches uh, 1 from the left? Actually, I apologize. That should be 0 and 0. All right, so uh, limit as x approaches 0 from the left. All right, 0 from the left. So that means we're moving along this line, and we're approaching this value of 3, 0 from the right, so now we're approaching this value of 5. Limit as x approaches 0 overall, well, limit as x approaches 0 overall, we look at the limit from the left, limit from the right, they are not the same, and so we would say that that limit does not exist. All right, what about the limit as x approaches 2? All right, so when we look at this, limit as x approaches 2, well, in order to answer that question, we need to evaluate the limit as x approaches 2 from the left of f of x. Now the limit as x approaches two, sorry, that should be three, I apologize. Three from the left, right? That is negative one, right? And then we examine the limit as x approaches three from the right of f of x. And we realize that that is positive two. And since those are not the same, then we can say that this does not exist. Now, I know we didn't ask those questions, but remember, those are questions that need to be asked in order to answer this overall question. All right, so that is the 